It's very common after a couple of years that you have been married to lose the desire of wanting to be with your husband. But if you want to, you can keep a sparkle throughout your marriage. And how I know that is that because my husband and I, we have been married for 30 years and we still enjoy coming together, being with each other. As a Christian woman, it's easy to think that having a good intimacy relationship with your spouse is not important, but it is important. And if you want to have a good relationship with your husband, you need to learn how to keep a sparkle in your sex life. I have created a series of videos about this topic. So if you haven't watched those yet, make sure after you get done with this one that you go by and watch my other videos. In each one of my videos, I'm going to share some tips with you. The things that I share in my videos are things that I have been doing on a daily basis since I became a wife. What I have learned is that things in your life that are important to you, it's not hard to do because that you care about it. And your marriage is what you make it. In order to have a good marriage, there are certain things that you are going to have to do throughout your marriage. And you shouldn't look at it as a task because when you love someone, you want to please that person. And not only please that person, you enjoy being intimate with that person. Tip number one, buy pretty lingerie. Get rid of all the old stuff. Twice a year, you should update your lingerie wardrobe and start wearing it daily. It's something about when you have on pretty lingerie, even though you are the only one that know it, it makes you feel pretty and it makes you feel feminine. Sometimes what I do on purpose, I like to get dressed in front of my husband. And the reason why is because I want him to see my lingerie. I want him to imagine what I have on throughout the day. Every so often, you should take your spouse with you to pick out your lingerie. Allow him to pick out things that he would like to see you in. And what's so good about that is that because he's picking it out for you, he's going to imagine how it's going to look on you. It's just going to make him excited and he's going to look forward to see you with that on. Plan a date night. Date nights can be very fun, especially if you dress up and fix yourself up before you get ready to go. It's something about it. It's like when you know that your spouse is fixing their stuff up for you, it makes you feel special. When you fix yourself up for each other, it also brings back fun in your relationship because that's something that you used to do when you were dating. Make sure that whatever you choose to wear is something that's going to compliment you, something that's going to make you look nice and also a little sexy. When you guys get to the restaurant, you need to lead the conversation and make sure that you're not talking about anything that have to do with work or if you have kids, the children. Don't talk about things that you want him to do around the house or something that you want him to purchase. Instead, talk about something that's going to make him want to be intimate with you. Just because you are a Christian, it doesn't mean that you're not human and you have forgotten about some of the things that you used to say on purpose just to flirt with your husband when you guys were dating. One of the problems I noticed about a lot of Christian marriages is that the husband and wife feel that because they are Christians, they should only focus on things that have to do with God. But in the Bible, Paul teaches that when you are single, you are more concerned with trying to please God. And when you are married, your concern is going to be pleasing your spouse. So as a married Christian couple, it's very important to do things that are important to your marriage. And one of those things is having sex with your spouse often. It's important to be intentional. Things that are important to you, you are intentional about those things. For example, on your job, if you want to be promoted, there are certain things that you are going to do on a daily basis to prove to your boss that you are valuable. You can handle a higher position. Same way if you went to college while you're in college, you want to make good grades. So in order to make good grades, you have to study. To be a good wife, 
there are certain things that you are going to have to do. And one of those things is having a good sex life. To have a good sex life, you have to be intentional about it. It has to be important to you. You have to know that it matters. If you're not concerned about your sex life or do things to make it better, it's not going to get better, which in the long run, it will be a problem in your marriage. You won't have the desire to be with your spouse and he's not going to desire to be with you. And in the long run, your marriage will get worse. Things that you're not interested in, you're not going to get better at. The night that I married my husband, I made a vow to myself that we would always have a good sex life together. And after 30 years, we still do. The only reason why is because I was intentional about it. I have a question for you. Do you have a good sex life with your spouse? And if you do, share some of your tips. If you don't have a good sex life with your spouse, what are you going to do to try to make it better? If you like my message and you want to show your support, subscribe to my YouTube channel, click the like button, and also click on the notification bell. If you need some one-on-one -on -one coaching about being a wife, schedule a free 30-minute consultation with me on Kenderly. I will have the information in my description box below. Thank you for tuning in and make sure to stay tuned for the next video about how to keep your husband sexually interested into you. Bye.